This is in the gutters with Blake. Hello. I know it's been a while. Maybe that'll be the theme today. A couple of days ago, I got a random package in the mail. It was an unusual looking box that obviously screamed comics inside. It took me a minute or so to figure out what it actually was, though. I sometimes support crowdfunding endeavors, and I realized this was one I had been waiting on for something like two years. Uh, there are some that I have supported that I have never uh, received. You get scam artists sometimes. Uh, but just the other day, I ran through in my mind some of the projects that I've never received, like uh, Long Harbor uh, was one of them that I thought would never show up in my mailbox. I had sent a uh, payment for this in March of 2019, and it was scheduled for February of 2020. And it's well past that, so by now I figured I just threw the money away. Uh, then just two days ago, it appears out of the blue. And to be honest, I think it was worth the wait. Uh, the story reads uh, kind of like a B-movie. The, the premise is the ship's captain is recounting uh, to a reporter, I think, about a trip to Long Harbor uh, that I'm assuming is a fishing community. Uh, something strange has happened there, and this ship full of biologists are headed there to find out what. Uh, the story reads very fast. Uh, the dialogue is light, and I got through these 70 or so pages in just a few minutes. Uh, that's all you really need to know. Uh, it's very minimalist. You don't get much of the biologist biologizing, and it's one of these stories where the characters just accept the weirdness going on. Uh, when the supernatural hijinks begin, uh, the oldest character, the preacher among them, steps up and states, uh, I know all about these sorts of things. I've been, I've seen it all before. And by the end of the story, he's working actual magic to protect the main character. And that's just kind of accepted. Some of it I didn't completely understand. There were some scenes that I wasn't sure if they were memories or hallucinations by the captain or whatever. But uh, that's fine. It is a horror story, so... Uh, other things that I will nitpick about the writing, there was a grammatical error or two, and I don't know if that was supposed to be how the character spoke, or if, since it's being made in Bali, that maybe the Indonesians making this are speaking a second language, and thus errors are bound to happen. Uh, I also found a trailer for this on uh, YouTube that was a couple of years old, and around the time when uh, the crowdfunding campaign started, I guess, uh, that gave a lot more details about the story than the actual story itself gives. You never are told that Long Harbor is in Newfoundland, for instance. Uh, the, the last thing that I'll quibble over uh, about the story is that the character personalities are mostly interchangeable. Uh, they state what they have to state within the panel. Entirely humorless to get to the next panel, and that is a real shame because the artist Alejandro Mirabal leaves no doubt as to which character is which. Um, to say the art is spectacular is understatement. Uh, they were going for something out of an H.P. Lovecraft story or John Carpenter's The Thing, and I think uh, he absolutely captured that. It reminds me very much of the Master of Macabre, uh, Bernie Wrightson. And don't slap me when I say this, but I dare say Mirabal's art may be more perfectly rendered than I ever saw in Wrightson's comic book work. I don't think there's a single panel that, uh, where I would say was a bad panel, and every comic has those. Mirabal infused legitimate concern to every single panel. There's a real atmosphere to, to every single illustration that he's, he's rendered. When one of the sea creatures is cut open, it really looks like the textures and layers of the fish. Each person looks like an individual. Each monster is toiled over just to get the right texture, whether it's fish scales or the corrupted eyeballs or gums on the insides of their mouths. And the, the creatures all look like they have weight to them. Weather plays a big part in the story. And the shots where the reader can see the water line above and below, uh, the creatures fading into the deep waters. Uh, it's just really cool stuff. I don't, I don't know anything about Alejandro Mirabal, but based on this, he has clearly established himself as a major talent, uh, the kind that doesn't come along very often. Uh, the most disappointing thing about Long Harbor is that it ends, which sucks, because I wanted more, uh, but it doesn't end. It's a story that finished with the dreaded, to be continued. And in this case, I'm thinking, will I have to wait another two or three years to see the next part? Well, maybe I'll have another video out by then. Overall, it's, it's a great 
It's a great comic book. It's the best comic book that I've I've gotten uh, in years, and I really can't remember one that has impressed me as much as this one has, especially the art, most importantly the art. That's all I got. I hope you liked my review. I hope you'll come back to the next one. If I do a next one, I hope, hope I'll do a next one. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.